gosh, look at this, guys. Uh oh. This is oh, it's oh. An Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Together with Major Garnish Metal Detecting. He also made a really cool video about this uh, field. So don't forget to check out his channel. I'm recording this after we searched this location. And oh man, we just found some really cool relics here. This field was used by the Americans for an encampment. Stationed on this camp were soldiers but also pilots from the Air Force. And even POWs, prisoners of war, were held here. We hope you will enjoy this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. And our first war related find is in. So now we know that we are going in the right direction. And it's this German hook from aluminium. And this hook is for the, for the field bottle. And our next find is in. And it's a uh, belt buckle. It's a US belt buckle for the trousers. Really happy with it. Especially because we only found the iron version before. And you can still see a piece of a belt still attached to it. That's really cool. Yep. Oh, that's cool. That's the rest of the blackout light. <laughs> A cool find. It's wow. amazing, man. What are you doing? That's the top part. Blackout light. You can still read on the on the plastic blackout stop signal. So that's really cool. Alright, Major Connix just found something very cool and this this uh, US spoon from the US soldiers. Uh, it's a very nice one, it's in brass and uh, still marked US. Never seen one uh, find before so it's very cool. I'm happy. <laughs> we also are finding a lot of coins, but they're in a very bad condition. So sadly you can't read what for coin it was. But yeah, always nice to find coins, so let's carry on. I touched it already, but it stuck out like this. Just out of the ground. And it's a US World War II dog tag. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Name, number, everything. Damn, that's very, very cool. What a find. I am absolutely speechless. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. Very personal. Very, very personal. And we are very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Wow. What a find. What a find. Oh guys, I cleaned it and uh, it's even better. It's even better. It says Ruth shit, <laughs> not the curse word. And Alex Leben u Darmstadt, which is actually a German city. And I know that the Americans, uh, uh, History Secrets told that, that the Americans made um, prisoner of war dog tags for the Germans on their own dog tags. So this is a US made dog tag, but for a German prisoner called Ruth Shit. <laughs> Sorry, can't stop laughing. Uh, from, from that city. So that's really, really, really strange, really difficult, but so amazing. Woohoo! Alright guys, 
think I have another good signal here. I didn't put it out yet. I want to do it together with you. Yeah. This is another dog tag. No way. <laughs> no way. It's a copper one. Wow, and it's busted as hell. But that's definitely a dog tag. Oh, I don't actually want to open it. It's really, really brittle. But yeah, that's definitely another one. Woohoo! Nice. Thanks, man. I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah, there's a name there. But I won't, I won't blow it any further. Further. Woohoo! Nice. Still an incredible find from Major Chronics. All of the dog tag. All was a tactical fourth grade from Louisiana. During his service in World War II, Paul experienced a traumatic event which ultimately resulted in loss of life. KIA killed in action. For this action, he earned a purple heart. We will try to do everything to find out more about Paul and his family and maybe someday return the dog tag. Alright, I just had a very deep signal and uh, this sort of buckle came out and then uh, my brother came over and he found this American uh, uh, coat button. It's a button from the American uh, coats. You can still see the eagle. It's a very nice one. It's, uh, it's a little bit bent. But uh, yeah, it's the first one, so we're uh, very happy with it. I'm sorry for the wind, guys, <laughs> but I just found this small thing, and uh, yeah, there's glass in the middle of it. And I was thinking it's, uh, it's a small compass, but I'm not sure, so I'm very curious uh, about what it is. So I hope I can uh, find out what it is. A very big signal. We're trying to get it out. We think it's a, uh, a communication hole from the Americans, but we're not sure yet. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take it out and show you guys. We got it out. It's a uh, oil drumlet, and uh, yeah, it's uh, bad condition. We're not gonna take it with us, but uh, yeah, better luck next time. I just dug up this pocket watch. What's pretty nice, and uh, it sadly is broken on the top, but. It's still in pretty nice condition and I'm uh, going to clean it. I don't see any markings yet, but uh, that's a nice find. Signal. And uh, just to flip the plow. <sighs> Look at this, guys. That is a US pilot wing for sure. <laughs> what the frick? No way. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal, that's just, just no way, no freaking way. It looks to be silver, I think. I don't know for sure. Sterling. Oh, yes, beautiful. it's sterling. No way, guys. Oh, my beautiful find. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, man. What the fuck? What the? Right, let me clean it a little bit for you. Just on the surface, man. Just broke the surface, not deeper than this. Uh, clean it further at home, I think. Look at this, guys. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thanks, man. I'm <laughs> really? so sorry, guys. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Oh man, we are excited. Oh, my brother just found a dog tag. Look at that, it's folded. No, focus. And uh, it's stainless steel and it's from uh, Thomas. 
But what a find, personal and that doesn't get personal. Look at that. Thomas is doctor. We didn't find much about Thomas, but we're still trying to find out more information about him. And of course we will do the same as for Paul's dog tech, try to contact the family and find out more information for these fallen heroes. I just had a signal with the detector and I was trying to find it uh, with FEM for now but it turned out to be already over there and look at that that's a German Wehrmacht uh, uniform button still with a lot of paint as I can see it's in amazing condition There were two more signals in the hall and turned out to be a bunch of uh, uniform buttons. Very interesting and all in pretty good condition. So I'm happy with it. All them out. Team Lieutenant Bob. Uh oh. Is it oh, it's oh. an iPhone. Oh, it's an iPhone. Oh, 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 oh. Die, is dat een uh, rifle ding? Ja, een rifle badge. Nee. Oh, ik ken het Wow, <laughs> look at the condition, guys. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> That's ridiculous, dude. That is ridiculous. What a day. Woohoo! Right guys, last find is in and uh, it's a very good find. Also never found this before, it's a uh, officer's buckle from the Americans. In pretty good state. So I think it's gonna clean up very nicely.